Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have an animal drawing, a bat. So it's, I'm not sure what type of bat it is. Drop my marker, nice. <laughs> Good start. I'm not sure what type of bat it is. Um, could be a vampire bat. It's got like really big ears. If you know what type of bat, I'm sure there are like loads of different types of species of bat and stuff, but this guy's kind of cool anyway. So, Landscape orientation page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So I'm gonna start with his nose, right? It's like the most prominent thing on his face and then, well, apart from the ears, but like on his face and it's like in the middle. So it's the easiest place to start, I think, anyway. So center point of my page is about here. I'm probably a little bit lower than halfway, but we're, we're roughly in the middle, right? And we're gonna just start with this sort of bumpy line. Just coming around his nose, right? Like that, and he's got kind of a pig nose. That's the best way I can describe it, right? So he's got like these lines that come down underneath his nose as well. So it kind of bumps up. And you don't have to be even on, on both sides. Sort of creatures like animals and stuff have sort of differences between the sides. Natural, in the natural world, nothing's 100% symmetrical that I know of anyway. So this kind of nose, so it's kind of like a letter M and a W underneath, right? And then his nostrils are inside here. So we've got like nostrils in here. So then beside his nose, we have his eyes and he's got these sort of frowning, sort of big frowning sort of lines. He looks pretty angry. So like a tick line there. And then we have his actual eyeball. He's got these beady little eyes underneath. Right, like so. And then his eyes are just black with white highlights in them, right? So you could just like draw a circle somewhere. Like there. Maybe another one in the back. And then the rest will be sort of black like that. So you just leave white dots, right? And then we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So big sort of frown. Like so, like a big frowning line. And then his eye again, sort of comes around underneath that. And then color it in and leave some white circles. If you want, you could actually put white paint on top. You know, if you go over too much of it, you could actually like put a dot of white paint on top if you want it. So then we got like some extra lines coming up for his nose just here, like some wrinkles on his nose, a line going up the middle and his head gets kind of fluffy then along here and his ears then come out but we'll just finish his face first so bottom lip kind of comes down it's kind of like a fluffy hairy sort of thing coming down here if you want to make it like a vampire bat sort of thing if it's halloween or whatever you know we can give it some fangs like here That's totally optional. So then his face coming around here. So we add like just this furry sort of sketch lines and hair lines coming around. Roughly to about here. And then we can do kind of the same thing on the other side. And then we cut out some lines underneath his eye. This way, something coming up here. Yeah, just some more sort of face lines like that. They've got really small faces. That's the thing to remember. Right, so his ears are like these big sensory organ things that come join his head, right? And go like kind of into his, his eyes, right? 
and the center of them is just like kind of here, right? Right, like that. And he seems to have like a little fringe, which is kind of funny. But he's got like some hair just here in the middle. And then we've got two big ears that go back this way, right? So you're gonna go When I say big, I mean like ridiculously big. So one goes back that way. One goes back that way. And then we bring it down the other side. So it curves around like so. And then it'll travel back into his head here. There might be like some hair or something sticking off here. You do the same over here. Like that, right? So then the bits that sort of go into his face, right? They're kind of furry. So we got like just a fur line for his face kind of coming around here. And sort of something similar on this side. Like so, and then we have different parts of his ear. So lots of skin sort of bumps and things, right? So let's do this side first. All right, so we got like coming around here, we've got like a fin or a piece of skin coming into there. And this can have sort of wrinkles and things on it as well. Like so. And then we have another sort of skin-like vent area here coming up the inside of his ear. Goes right up to the top. And this has like some fur and stuff on it, but texture like that. And we do the same pretty much on the other side. So we'll add like this sort of fin here. And it comes down into here. And you got like some bumps and stuff on it. And then the other one, sort of maybe here, goes right up to the top. Like so. I think we can see like some skin at the back. So like at the back of his ear, just sticking up here like this. Maybe a little bit on this side as well, not as much. And this will have some texture lines and stuff on it as well. So then, let's see. So the inside of the ear has some bumps and lumps and stuff. So let's see. So we'll go. We'll add some like wrinkle lines. So we'll go like bumping up here. Like that, right? Bumpy line. This can have some like wrinkles in here. And they're so thin, they're so sensitive, these these ears, right? They've got like these sorts of curved lines inside, right, going around. They're, they're nearly translucent. You can see like veins and everything. You know, like, like a vein sort of like that, but mostly just these broken sort of lines. Kind of like, like that on the inside. And then maybe we can just darken up this area just because it's kind of where the sound goes in. So be a bit of a shadow here. And then we'll do 
more of those veiny curved lines. So you're just following the curvature of the year. You're doing these round sort of lines. So that's pretty much his ears. So then, wings and body and stuff and feet and things. Right, so his body's just like he's a fluff ball. That's, that's all he is. So coming down from his ear, so we've got like just this sort of fluffy, sort of hairy line that comes down. I think we can see a little bit more of the body on this side because his wing is more outstretched on this side. So it's not quite, this one starts at the ear, but this one will go beyond the ear on this side. You could keep it the same if you wanted. I'll just do it, I can see in the picture. And I think there's like some little fluff line coming down here. And maybe like, Something underneath his face here. Like that. So, feet, so we can see a foot sticking out and a tail, so. but they're all attached to the wings, like they're not separate. So I get, we'll do the wings first. That's probably a better idea. So let me just zoom out here. Okay, we'll do the wings first before we deal with all that. So wing comes up like so. Right. And we see, we meet this sort of little hook. So it's like a little, like a spike here. It's like a claw. Right. Just like a little hook with the bottom on it. And then our wing keeps going. No claws on the bottom. You could add a claw there if you wanted, I guess. Like usually, don't you see like normally little hands? I, I guess it depends on the bat really, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll just, we'll leave it as a wing. Just we'll, we'll keep it anatomically correct from what we can see. Cause I'm drawn from a photo. So this bat doesn't have those little claws at the end. He just had claws here and one there. So the bottom of the wing then curves three times to Three, like a typical bat wing shape, right? Think like Batman. One there, and then goes in there, right? And then we meet the feet in here, but we'll just, we'll draw the other bat wing sort of shape. And this wing, so he's not like perfectly symmetrical. You can keep it symmetrical if you wanted, but this one, I think this wing is slightly different. So I'll go slightly higher up that way. So a bit more straight, I guess. And this goes into his body. Somewhere here, he's got like his back. Oh yeah, his back is like just here. All right, so this wing goes up a little bit more straight than the other one. And then his hook-like claw Oh, where does that go? So that one goes in towards his body, let's say so. A little spike and a round bottom on it. And then we go across to there. And then we bring it down. point down here. Not 
not as pointy as the other side for sure. So we'll just go around and we'll do our three bumps then. One, two, three. Okay. So this leg, so it's sticking out here, right? So he's got a leg and a smaller leg here. We can see less of the leg on this side. So we're not like 100% symmetrical. But so we got the leg sticking out here. So it's like, comes out like so. Curves around and we got like a couple of spikes just here. And then these kind of go back into his body somewhere. like that so these claws just kind of stick off here and there's like another one on this side so it just like comes out from here comes down for claws like this and then goes back up in like that and this is part of like a tail fin sort of piece of skin sort of thing so it comes out there dips down like so goes back up into here okay then we got like all details and stuff right so we've got like a line that comes sort of down the middle here and so they've got like a ridge on it and then like an edge here Maybe like coming down just like an edge line just here and then some lines like coming across as well. Like so. And then we have like some bony stuff on the wings, right? So he's got like a shoulder joint or something like here. Like some little like pieces of bones and ligaments and stuff. And like the inside comes up. And across here. And then coming out from that, we'll have like one that comes down this way. So, right, and then another line. Like that. I think the shoulder might have like an extra sort of line coming down it here. Like so. And then this shoulder line goes across the top of the wing and just kind of disappears into there. And then we have another one that comes down to here. So these kind of join into this. And then this one. So you could definitely get away with doing these as just one line, but I am just trying to be as anatomically sort of correct as I can. And this one kind of goes into the corner here. Down there. And it's got like another line on the edge here. Like that. Right, and then we'll do something similar over this side. So, and then we'll add like the veins and details and stuff if you want, or you could just color it like that, but I'll, I'll add some details just for whoever wants to do that. So his little shoulder sticks out here, it goes up, down again, and then, so, a couple of extra lines on the shoulder here. that and then 
these lines curve out and around real thin real thin on this side kind of thicker on top and then it gets a little bit thinner on this side for some reason so right to there um, and then another one curves around to here and then a third up to there so so and then the third one goes off this way so it goes Okay, right, so then we got um, some little vent sort of lines just coming up this way first. Some veiny sort of lines, and then they eventually kind of start to go like this way. Direction. They seem to, in each one, there's like a different sort of direction of the skin lines. So, kind of like this. Goes that way, it goes that way. And these ones go up. And then we go this way with these ones. Kind of change direction, I think. So these details, I know a lot of people might be interested in adding, and that's okay. But I, I'm a stickler for details. I like them. I like little things like this. Yeah, but I think that'll have to do, guys. If you want, sometimes adding thicker edge lines you know, around the animal can make it pop a little bit better. Sometimes, you know, just extra line weights and stuff.
you know, but totally optional. Yeah, but I think it suits this, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do this around a bit more. All right, but I think I'll have to leave it there. That is how to draw a bat. Hope it was helpful, and as usual, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.